Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your boy Tech Hack. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a subdomain for your website. Yeah, I'm very sure most of us are familiar with getting a domain, but most of us don't know how to get a subdomain. Now, also in this video, I'm also going to show you how you can install SSL certificate. Now, this video is in is in two different parts. I'm going, this is the first part you're watching right now. This part is going to show you how you can install it directly from your cPanel. Then the second video, which I'm going to be releasing soon, is going to show you how you can install SSL certificate from your WordPress dashboard. So um, if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. And also don't forget to hit the like button as you find my videos valuable. And also, don't forget to share with your friends who need this video. It's going to help them also. So, all right. So, let's get started. So, uh, first thing you need to do is you need to get the hosting. So, I dropped um, the link to the um, hosting website. You can see on my screen, gymdesigndomain.com is a hosting platform that you can use to get your domain and hosting for your business, for your website, anything you want to run. So, now... When you um, when you go over to gymdesigndomain.com, which is going to be available in the link in the description below, you would just follow the whole procedure on how to just register your domain and also get to hosting. Now, the thing about um, this is that you can uh, pay using crypto. Yes, you can pay using crypto, flutter with an any order payment gateway that is available for you using paper and the rest. So um, now this is my dashboard. So I have made an order already that you can see over here, um, jurianova.com, um, view other details. So now once you head over to this place, that's when you go back to my orders, you're going to come to this, you take it to this place. Now when you get to this place, you just go down and log into your cPanel. So now this is my cPanel. So now over here, um, as you can see the cPanel looks, um, I, I would use the word new. Anyways, now um, you can change your theme to Paper Lantern or Jupiter. As you can see over here, these are the changes. So um, first thing you need to do is you just head over to domains. Now when you get over to domains, you take into this place. So now as you can see over here, this is the domain I created. Now the first domain and the subdomains. This is the subdomain. Now most in most cases, if you want to get the subdomain. You want to get subdomain it doesn't come with ssl certificate now what you need to do first the first thing you need to do is you need to create a new domain you need to create a new domain so now to create a new domain this is what you're going to do over here so you're just going to click on add new domain i want to click add new domain you're going to you're going to see about this place you just type in um you type in Let's say um, tech hack. I'm just going to use tech hack. So tech hack dot. Then you would add since it's a subdomain. You're going to add the what I call it um the the name of the first domain. So Gianova dot com. That's going to over here. So now what you're going to do next? Please don't click on share document. Just click on submit. So now once you click on submit, it's going to create your subdomain for you. So just give it some time and it's going to work. Now it depends on as you can see why it can take a moment to create a new domain. As you can see why this is now you, if you come back to this, you see that you cannot activate HTTPS um auto SSL that is not activated. So what you need to do is you go back to your C panel. So now your C panel, you're going to come over to you scroll down, you're going to see security, you're going to click let's encrypt SSL. Now, most hosting companies don't allow you to um, install SSL certificate. They tell you to pay for the SSL certificate. But with Gym Design Domain, what you just once you get um, a um, a hosting account with us, you get your um, you get your your SSL certificate available in your CPAN. So what you just come what you just have to do is you come over to this place. Now remember, TechHack does not have an SSL certificate, as you can see over here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to issue the SSL certificate to my subdomain. Now this is how to issue your SSL certificate to your subdomain. You're going to click on issue over here. Now once you click on issue, you are going to see um you're going to take it to the next place, which is have to do with DNS, your DNS server, or you're going to connect to with HTTP. 
So you just want to click activate C SSL certificate on C panel also, which is very important. So now you can see by HTTP, do not change it, leave it to this place, then click issue. So now once you click issue, you're going to get your SSL certificate activated. So yeah, so so now I'm going to refresh this place. I'm going to refresh my dashboard. I'm going to refresh this panel. You can see over here it was turned off before and Right now, you're going to see that it is activated. That is my SSS certificate is activated. So, um, sorry. So, let's click on domains again. So, you see it. All right. So, as you can see, my domain, my subdomain is activated. Right, remember I issued an SSS certificate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on turn on. Once I click on turn on, we're going to see uh, something coming over to the screen saying first HTTPS redirect. Now the redirection is when someone clicks on HTTP, it just redirects it to HTTPS. Now the new Chrome, um, the new Chrome update, you cannot. Most times when you have HTTP, Chrome is going to warn your users who is make use of a smartphone not to um not to uh get this thing what i call it not to use your like not to have access to your website so this is just a simple way you can install ssl certificate for your domain and also for your subdomain it's very very easy you can turn it off if you want to over here so now you can see main domain the same procedure the same way i did it for subdomain that's the same way i'm going to do it for the uh, the main domain also just go to this and click SSL in your C panel dashboard and that's it. So if you have any question, feel free to let me know. And if you got value in this video, please don't forget to like and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.